with Money's Car Stereo. Man, where are you from? Malpitas, California. And how did you find out about me? Instagram and 45's Forever. 45 Forever? What do you do down at 45 Forever? Just cars, trucks, bikes, what are we talking 45 Forever? Motorcycles, anything from early 1930's to present, baggers, old bikes, shovel heads, pan heads, knuckle heads, you name it. So you're saying you got it covered? We got it covered. But God just damn. not stereos. Just not stereos. Yeah. Okay, so he came down today. Plus, they do my T-shirts, the Money Rob's T-shirts. Um, his brother does that. They have tattoos. They, they they do it all down there in San Jose. So what we got here right now is a highway setup, but it wasn't really set up that well. He had the stock radio, which we've already uh, got that out of there. Had some Alpine Type R's, which I'm not a fan of. But he, what he had was real interesting is these bag not even bag lid it's a tour pack lid and what made you decide to go with this clean slick looking Cl clean slick looking did it come abs black as we see it yes any modifications to get it on there because people are going to ask you know rob what did it take to get on there oh what, did it's it come with the backrest too yes it comes with the backrest oh okay so it would you you were telling me earlier you had to modify something a little bit yeah all you got to do is make sure you order the hinges you can get them on uh, Harley Davidson or eBay, you know. So your stock hinges wouldn't work on here? No, I didn't want to take them off my Oh, that way you can put them back and you wouldn't have. Ever, if so, I wasn't happy. Okay. Would you mind opening it up for us so we can yeah. see what's, what we're looking at on the inside? Okay, so they got the Hertz dropping in from the top. You know, you know, I say about these Hertz. They cool. We're going to see what they do. We're going to put some power to him because right now he only has a two-channel JL. So what we're going to do today is we're going to, bring him into the modern world because he already moved it, but he was on stock Harley. Um, we're gonna get him out the bag, get the amp into the fairing, and lighten his life with some new highs in the front and the horn tweeters. And you see back, he got the back half covered, y'all. So um, y'all stay tuned. I wanna show y'all how we do it over here at Money's Car Stereo. It's the only way to go. All right, you heard him. We gonna get it in. Let's go. Okay, we're gonna upgrade his grills to these. Change out his fronts to that. He had some Alpine type R's. One of the tweeter was already broke off on it. In the bag, which we're gonna take out, is this a two channel JL. That if you follow the look of it, you can't even take it off the bike because it's hard wire with four gauge wire throughout. So that means the bag is stuck to the bike. We already got the radio in. Go to these tour pack lids. It's pretty neat up here. So, ooh, that's a, yeah, that's a good cable right there. So we're gonna break it out, get these wires up here so he can get some sound make it so it's disconnectable over here probably put a disconnect somewhere in this general area here let me see something yeah something like that there is it hardwired to the bag actually no it's not okay so yeah hey why'd they cut this anyway yeah so we're gonna de undo that right now let's get all the front laid outs all the hardware mounted so at the end, we'll be down to just wire work. Since that half is already wired in, let's keep it moving forward. All right, let's go. Okay, here we go. We got the highs playing right, but these six by nines. Need to I said I'm geek and I'm fired up. All I want to not is just keep high. Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. You recording, George? Mm -hmm. Okay. As I was saying, look, you can see it good. We oh, was, yeah. Um, we was playing with the bike, this bike over here, you know, and we were checking out this, this lid speaker over here. And it sounded kind of flat. Something was wrong. So I pulled him out. I'm going to call the owner once I figure it all out. 
But what we come to the conclusion is this over here. I broke out my test system over here. Every year this installer should have one. You know, just a, uh, something you can mock something up on to play something if necessary. So we was playing with this right here. Now what I'm about to do is I'm gonna turn it, I'm gonna take all the bass all the way out, put the treble all the way up. Now we should be getting some some type of high situation jumping off. This is Snoop Dogg, real simple. He got a lot of instrumentation in his music. Let me see, back, back, back. Let's see with this old stuff here. As you heard, I moved the treble up and down, it really didn't do too much. So, I, my suspicion is, the tweeter on the Hertz, this model right here, this heavy ass frame, real nice beautiful speaker, it'll cost your arm and leg I was told, but it also has mounting issues because it doesn't have a side frame around it. So what we're going to do is we're going to compare it to a Pioneer. The new TSD series, let me see something. Brand new out the box, pretty much. We're gonna tie this one and see. I mean, let's take out the treble on the on the deck over here. Back up that Snoop Dogg song, one song back, and let's put this on. Let's see if we get some type of treble out of this. Sing that shit. Has it go a little something like this? Lordy, lordy, we like the party. We don't cost. Up oh, too loud. Let me turn it down a little bit. There. Damn it! Hate when it happens. Uh, we rock up on the mic. We rock the mic. Uh oh, my dog, keeping y'all in the head. We got trouble now. Just to see you smile and enjoy yourself, cause it's cool when you call the cozy conditioning which we create. That's zero that's trouble. That's our mission. So listen close to what we say, because this type. That's what we is missing. The Hertz tweeter, all bad. Pioneer, tried, true, working speaker. George, hand me that five way back there, man. This is supposed to be the heir to the throne right here. The five way Pioneer. Model numbers, I ain't gonna give you the model number unless you figure that part by yourself. We're gonna do the same thing. Let's see. Back. Well, that's true. That's why we never have no beef. So I slipped off my jack. Go back to the Hertz. You heard that. Side by side comparison. You tell me which one would you run on your bike. Enough said. We're going, we're going to call the owner, let him know we got three options. He can keep his same speaker as he had it, or he can upgrade. And we can get him back in the game even more. You know, money's car stereo, we out. Just let you see what I see. Money. Here we go. Money's car stereo over here. We got these nice Hertz over here. They were in the tour pack lids over here on the bike. But, um... Something was sounding kind of off about it when I first turned it on. After we redid it, I said, let me take this to the test bench so I can um, see what's really going on. So, I put it on here on the table. So with that being said, I turned it on, I took the bass all the way out, and I put the treble all the way up. And this is what I heard. Let me see something. Let me get this trophy uh, area on the So as we 
can see the tweeter really ain't tweeting. You know a tweeter supposed to go tss, tss, tss. So we're gonna take that out the move. So what we're gonna do is Oh um what was that? Uh uh let me see. Okay. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on one second. Okay, can you hear me? Okay, so the model number of this Hertz I got is a HCX690. H high energy, is that like the top one they make or they make one even better? Oh, okay. Well, this one right here, what I'm, what I'm working with, he dude had him on his bag lids on his um tour pack, some new tour pack yeah, bag lids. Up. And um, the, the, the tweeter ain't playing. The tweeter is gone on these bitches. It was like that when I got, when it got to me. But, I, you know, I, he wanted uh -huh. to get some more highs in the front. And so I was like, all right, we took the stock deck off the bike. And we put a different deck, gave him some up upgrade abilities, USB, you know, and Bluetooth, whatnot. And, and uh, um, but, you know, I, and I put some more highs in the front. But in the back, it will sound real raggedy. And I was like, man, you know, before I call this dude... Let me pull one of these speakers out and just test it, see what it do. And um, it, the tweeter don't work on these bitches. It's a pretty impressive looking speaker. Yeah, well, I'm gonna I'm take it out the box. I'm finna, like I said, we on the, my video right now recording, and I just like put it on my test radio, you know, and turn the bass all the way down and put the treble all the way up. Now I'm finna compare it to a new Pioneer, so anybody watching this will see what. It sounds like when something is missing from the puzzle, you know. Yeah. Are you doing it live or no? No, we're not doing live. It, you, I, you on vi you in the video right now because I got the phone near the camera. I'm just recording so I can get the Hertz representative on the phone since you just say you finna make a sale right now. And so I don't know, like I said, I don't know what the situation was that killed this, but he had a JL two channel. I think it was a 300 watt playing six speakers. And it was on bridge. Oh no! So I don't know, you know, how long he played. If he washed the bike, the water speakers don't look like they water damaged. But um, I'm just like, you know, the tweeter don't work no more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was water damage, Yeah, it's possibility, you know. So I um, I'm gonna I, I switched to a JL 400. Two channels gonna run the um the front and the um the tour pack speaker the um, the you know the corners. And the other two channels are running up six by nines by themselves, and so I was like, it's, I turned it all on, but I was like, man, something's off about this. So that's where I'm coming down to. So what, what's what's go ahead. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay, so your 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 question was, you called me for what? Get a high low converter. Okay. okay. You yeah, people say, oh, you can get this Fosgate for um break breakout box costs about two hundred fifty dollars and all that stuff. You can if you get you a good quality high low converter, and um I saw it on a bike that I was working on one time, and it was a um a pack one, a pack um a, a pack um uh, pack lock pro line converter. Two channel with with the built-in remote hot and everything. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, that's the one you want to get. You know, I've seen it done with cheaper ones, but um, you know, the the model number of the one that I saw that worked was uh, let me see what was that? It's um, it's LOC Pro number seven. Okay. So so it'd be LP seven dash two. Okay. And that worked real good. You know, so I. Do they have the program that new stereo? I ain't did nothing. In the, all the new ready bikes I've been working with, it's just been straight, just like that. Okay. Now there's some other secret stuff, but I can't tell you about that. But you know, that that'll get you in the game, though. All right. Yeah. Okay. Well, let yeah. me know how that works out for you. All right, for sure. All right. Bye. Bye.
I don't know. See? Thank you.